The ruling party candidate in Mauritania has been declared the winner of Saturday's presidential election, according to the Electoral Commission. Former Defence Minister Mohamed Oldi Galzouani won 51% of the vote, according to data published on the National Electoral Commission's website. Opposition candidate on Saturday held a press conference to call on citizens to take the streets in protest if they believe the elections were not held fairly. The country's last elections in 2014, won by the then incumbent president, Mohamed Uldi Abdelaziz, were heavily. The Electoral Commission had announced that the ruling party candidate obviously won the election, but also the opposition was calling for peaceful strikes. We understand their planned protests today. What more can you tell us? Yes, so um, there is, uh, there's been a call for a peaceful march, uh, emphasis on peaceful. Um, this evening uh, started a few minutes ago, um, and it's supposed to continue on into the evening. Uh, there were some reports uh, in some of the poorer parts of the city of protests last night that involved burning tires. Um, this morning when I went by, I saw some burned vehicles and some obvious evidence of fire. But, but notably, I think more than the actual protests, there is a very heavy military presence in the city. I think they're prepared for any um, potential protest or for anything to, to get out of hand. And also worth noting is that uh, it would appear um, that all cellular data, 3G internet services have been cut across the capital, if not the whole country. Um, we started hearing reports of this around 3 p.m. yesterday, and until today, I, I still can't connect to any um, internet outside of my hotel Wi-Fi, and I believe it's the same for most people in the city. So this is obviously not just a breakdown. It is a planned, uh, you know, a discontinuation of, of uh, services such as the internet, as you say, Isha, and even the cell phone use, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, and, and of course, you know, there's no official word on this from the government, but, but most people on the street are saying that they assume this has sparked a runoff election on July 6th. Um, a lot of people are, are skeptical of the results given how close they are to, um, to that percentage. And uh, I believe a lot of the opposition candidates are calling for a recount to, to spark a runoff election. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how likely that is, given that, that technically, from the numbers released by the National Electoral Commission, Ghazwani uh, has won enough to, um, to, win, to claim an absolute majority. Isha, what is the Electoral Commission saying about those concerns? Some saying, well, there should be a runoff. Others saying there should be a recount. What is their stand? Um, I, I mean, the Electoral Commission has published their numbers and they stand by them. Um, there's been some question about it because opposition had called for foreign observers during this election um, and the National Electoral Commission declined. Uh, that being said, on Election Day, there were a lot of members of the U.S. Embassy, for instance, as well as local observers who were going to the polls and, and documenting any potential cases of intimidation. Um, but I believe that, as far as we've heard, uh, the National Electoral Commission is standing by their decision. Whether protests tonight will change their mind is, is yet to be seen. Isha, thank you very much. Isha, thank you. Isha Sarai uh, talking to us live via Skype from Nuakchot, Mauritania.